In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate PC optimization guide so that you can boost your FPS, lower your delay and lower your ping in Fortnite Chapter 7. Lots of people have been complaining about ping since the Winterfest update, so this is going to be a big tweak in this video. We're going to be going through absolutely everything you can do to your system to get the maximum performance and lowest ping possible. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So the first thing we'll be doing is heading to our desktop and clicking Windows I to open up our Windows settings. Inside here, the first thing we're going to be focusing on is System. Right here when we've clicked on System, the first thing we're going to do is head down to Notifications and Actions and making sure all of the notifications are turned off. Then head down to Focus Assist and turn this off. Then we want to head down to Tablet and make sure when I sign in is set to never use tablet mode and when I use the device as a tablet is switched to don't switch to tablet mode. Once you've done that, head down to About. Then inside here, head to the right and click on Advanced System Settings. This box will open up. Click Settings on the Performance box. And right here, you want to click Adjust for Best Performance. Then click onto Custom so you can select some of the boxes. And the only two boxes we need to tick are smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. I like to have animate windows when minimizing and maximizing as well. So if you want this one, this is preference and it doesn't kill your performance. Once you've done that, click apply, click OK, click OK again. Then we're going to be heading back to the home page, clicking onto apps. And right here, you'll see all of the apps installed onto your PC. Go through this list and uninstall any apps you don't use or you don't need. So like this one here, the Microsoft Calculator, I don't need this, so I'm going to uninstall this. Snipping tool, I don't use this, I use Snip and Sketch right here, so I'm going to uninstall the Snipping tool. Just go through and uninstall everything you don't use or you don't need. Then we're going to be heading back to Home, clicking on Gaming, making sure Game Bar is turned off. Then head down to Game Mode and make sure Game Mode is turned on. Then head to Graphic Settings, make sure you turn on Hardware Accelerator GPU Scheduling. Once you've done that, you can add your games down here to run them as high performance, as you can see right here. To add Fortnite to this list, you need to head to this PC, Local Disk C, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then you'll see Fortnite right here. You just need to click Add. Once it's added, click Options, select High Performance, and select Save. Once you've done that, head back to the home page, head down to Privacy. Right here on General, make sure you turn off all of these settings. And the last thing we'll be doing is heading back to home page one more time, heading down to update and security, clicking on check for updates and any updates that are available, just make sure you run them. Once you've done that, you can close out of the settings. As you can see, I have no updates. So I'm going to be closing out of this. And those are the Windows settings fully optimized. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking the Windows key and typing in services and opening this up. Click in anywhere and click in S on your keyboard until you find sysmain. So this one right here, make sure you double click this turn it to disabled. If the service status is running, make sure it's stopped by clicking this stop button, clicking apply, then clicking OK. Then once you've done this, click P on your keyboard, find print spooler, which is this one right here, make sure it's disabled and stopped, click apply, then click W on your keyboard and you'll see wallet service, make sure this disabled and stopped, then scroll down to the very bottom until you see these Xbox services and make sure to disable all of these. Once you've done that, you can close off the services and those are all of the service tweaks that we can do. But before I go any further with this video, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is an optimization service that offers all of these different tweaks for super cheap prices. They have tons of positive reviews and they work really well. I use these extreme tweaks right here and I went from 200 FPS on a stock Windows all the way up to about 500. So I definitely recommend going and checking them out. And if you are purchasing them, make sure you use code RUFFY and you get 15% off any pack. Now we're going to be disabling some startup apps so we can lower our processors when our PC boots up. So to do this, right click on the taskbar and head over to task manager, click on startup and right here you want to disable everything you don't want turning on when your PC boots up. So for me, I have a couple things inside here turning on when I boot my PC up that I don't want enabled. So as you can see, I have this face up data right here. I didn't realize I had this open when my PC turns on, so I'm going to disable this. Also this EA launcher right here, I don't want this, so I'm going to disable this. As you can see, I disable everything as I like manually opening things, but just go through and disable everything you don't want opening and your processors will be much lower next time you turn your PC on. The next thing we're going to be doing is choosing the best power plan so we can get better performance in game. So to do this, click the Windows key and search for power and click on edit power plan. Right here, click change advanced power settings. 
In drop down this menu, inside here you want to select high or ultimate performance. High is good for your mid end to low end PC. If you're on a high end PC, choose ultimate performance. Or if you have any custom ones like me, you can also choose these. Once you've done that, scroll down to processor power management. Minimum processor state, set this to 100% and maximum processor state also to 100%. Once you've done this, click OK, click this up arrow and make sure you're using the same power plan inside here. Once you've done that, click on choose what the power buttons do. And right here, some of you might have fast startup. To change this, click change the settings that are currently unavailable. And if you do have fast startup here, make sure you disable it. As if you have this on, when you turn your PC on, your uptime inside here will be super high. And you want this to be as low as possible. So make sure you disable fast startup if you have the option click save changes and we can exit off the power options. Now we're going to be optimizing our Nvidia control panel to get better performance and lower delay inside Fortnite. So right click and head to the Nvidia control panel. And once this is open, head up to the top left where it says adjust image settings with preview. Right here, click the bottom option and drag this bar all the way down to performance. Click apply, then click use the advanced 3D image settings, apply again, and then click this blue button that says take me there. Inside here, I'm going to go through the best settings for Fortnite. So just make sure you copy these settings as these are the best optimized settings that I have already. So I'll tell you them right now. Image scaling is going to be off, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering off, all of these anti-aliasing modes off, background application max frame rate off, CUDA GPUs all CUDA system fallback policy, driver default, DSL factors off, low latency mode on, or if you have a low end PC, I would put this on on plus boost, max frame rate off, monitor technology, fix refresh, multi sampled AA off, open geo GDI compatibility, prefer performance, open geo rendering GPU, select your graphics card for this, power management mode, prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, I'll set this to highest available, shader cache size, you only need this on 10 gigabytes. Texture filtering, anisotropic sampling options on. Texture filtering, negative LED bias, put this on clamp. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization on. Triple buffering off. V-Sync off. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames one. Virtual reality variable rate super sampling off. And Vulkan OpenGL present method, set this to auto. Once you've done that, click apply. And now we're going to be moving on to a hidden tweet not many people know of inside the NVIDIA control panel. So click on program settings, click add, browse this PC, local disk C, Windows, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Explorer, then click open. Inside here, scroll down until you find power management mode and set this to prefer maximum performance. This will just make everything run from the Windows Explorer run as high as performance and it will prioritize your Fortnite to run as high performance as well. Once you've done that, click apply and we're going to be heading to configure surround physics and on your physics settings here, set your processor to your graphics card and not your CPU. Once you've done that, we're going to be heading down to adjust desktop size and position and make sure you set any monitor that you have. So I have two monitors, I'm going to be setting both of these to no scaling. So make sure you select no scaling, then click apply. Your monitor will black screen for just a minute, wait for it to come back on and the setting will apply. Do the same for every single monitor. And the last thing we're going to be doing in here is heading to setup G-Sync and making sure G-Sync is disabled. Once you've done that, you can exit out the NVIDIA control panel and those are the best settings for that. Now we're going to be clearing all of the temp files off our PC so we can free up more space and make sure our game doesn't have any stutters. So to do this, click Windows plus R, type in percent, temp, percent, click enter, click anywhere, control A, control D to delete them all. If this pops up, tick this box and click skip. Then we're going to be clicking off this, Windows R again and typing in temp and doing the same thing. Then the last one, Windows plus R again and typing in prefetch. Same thing, control A, control D. Then head to recycle bin, control A and delete everything from here. Now we're going to be optimizing our network for the lowest ping in Fortnite. The first thing I would recommend is downloading gear up. GearUp is a ping optimizing tool that is completely free to download and connects you to the best servers in all these different games such as Fortnite so you can get the lowest ping possible and minimal packet loss. Personally, I use GearUp myself and it really helps with my packet loss and giving me lower ping. So I would definitely recommend downloading it. You can download it for the free trial. The link will be in the description. And to get a few more days with your free trial, you can come down to code slash coupon and type in code Ruffy, as you can see on the screen right here. And you get a few more days to use gear up for completely free.
but the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking the windows key and typing in cmd and running this as an administrator and in here we're going to be typing in ipconfig space slash flush dns and the next command will be ipconfig space slash resolve once you've done that close off the control panel and we'll be typing the windows key again then we're going to be searching up control panel clicking on network and internet network and sharing center clicking on ethernet properties and inside here all you need is qos packet scheduler internet protocol version 4 and internet protocol version 6 you can disable everything else i have this enabled for my capture card but everything else you can disable you guys probably won't have this but if you do you can keep this if you have a capture card the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking on ipv4 properties advanced wins and disabling netbios over tcp slash ip clicking ok then we're going to be typing a dns server inside here and to find the best one run this command prompt as an administrator type ping 1.1.1.1 and check your average ms so for me this is nine and then we're going to be doing the same for 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And as you can see, I have an average of nine as well. So I'm just gonna keep this as 1.1.1.1 and then for your alternate 1.0.0.1. If 8.8 .8 is a better option for you, for the preferred, you're gonna type 8.8.8.8 .8 and then for your alternate 8.8.4.4. Once you've done that, click validate settings up on exit. Okay, then we're gonna be clicking configure. Yes, inside here, power management, make sure everything inside this is turned off. Then head to advanced. And we're gonna be optimizing our settings inside here. So the first one, advanced EEE, makes you turn this off to disabled. Energy efficient ethernet is disabled. Green ethernet is disabled. IPv4 checksum offload is disabled. Large send offload V2 for IPv4 and 6 are both disabled. TCP and UDP checksum offloads for IPv4 and 6 are all disabled. Speed and duplex is set to the highest, so either 1, 2.5 or 5 gigabytes. Power saving mode is disabled. Scroll down to the bottom. Wake on magic packet is disabled. Wake on pattern match and all of these wake on settings are disabled. Once you've done that, click OK, close. You can close off this and those are your network settings fully optimized. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope that it helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.